hello guys today in this video I am going to show you how we can implement standalone pipe so as you can see here this is the new feature in angular 14 okay and this is also the same video tutorial reach for angular so before proceeding I would like to request you guys to subscribe my channel if you have not done that yet so now let's proceed okay and so here is the command to create the standalone pipe and you generate pipe and then pipe name and in the last double hyphen then standalone or we can also use the sort command ngg for generate p for pipe and then pipe name and then double hyphen with a standalone okay so now let's move to the visual studio code and here you can see this is the same code where we left in the earlier video so these are the implementation of inbuilt pipes so now uh, we'll create uh, I mean these are the inbuilt pipes so, so now we will create a standalone pipe so I will reuse the command so this is the command you can see so I am going to create it inside a folder called pipes okay okay and in that we will create a triple with the name of triple this will be the standalone pipe name okay so let me hit enter button or return button here to create it and you can see it has created the pipe inside the pipes folder so you can see this is the pipe folder and here I have triple okay so as you know <coughs> spec.ts is for testing purpose so we will not go with that right now so I am going to create here a, like a pipe which will return the three times value whatever will pass as a number so I will keep I will change it into numbers okay, because I want to return the number from here and want to multiply three times with any value so I will do value multiply by three I will save it okay and now uh, the next task is to use this um, in the module file basically so I will go to app module.ts and here I will use that module so I cannot use mo that module inside the ng module because that is the standalone pipe okay so what I will do here I will use that in the import section okay because of the standalone feature of a standalone pipe so here I will do triple pipe you can see it is giving a specialization and it will also add a reference at the top so you can see this triple pipe it is added here import and here it is added here as imports okay now I will save it save both the files basically okay this pipe will also I will save it okay and then I will um, I will go to app component or HTML file and here I will use that pipe so I will create one h2 tag here okay and inside here I will create I mean use that standalone pipe so I will name it as triple okay and here I will I will use uh, a number basically I'm using the same number test number and here I will use pipe symbol and then I will use triple so now let me save it and use npm start to run this okay and now you can see it is running with on localhost 4200 port number so I will go to browser now and in the browser I will refresh this and you can see here triple is coming right triple is coming is 138 and double is coming with 92 okay so and you can see what is the value we are passing here from the component.ts file I am passing here 46 so it doubled as 92 and triple is 132 so double is implemented with the I mean that's also like a 
I mean, uh, that's also like that is coming with the inbuilt pipe, not with the custom one. I mean, not sorry, that is also from the custom pipe. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you can see that as well. Uh, here in the double pipe dot ts. So this is also a custom pipe. Okay and it's also but it, it is that is a custom pipe not a standalone pipe okay and this triple is the standalone pipe okay so yeah i hope you learned something new in this video so yeah that is all guys in this video okay so yeah thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel and also mention your comment in the comment section which will uh, help me to create more better videos okay thank you